Ah, I didn't bring up water. That's going to be a problem. Um, hopefully, I, I won't go on too long, so uh, my, I won't dry up. Hello again, everyone. Uh, a bittersweet moment for me as uh, another celebrity enters the fray. Um, but unfortunately, it's a friend, someone who I actually uh, probably uh, helped make famous because his first appearance on television, at least in the UK, I believe was Father Ted, as Noel Early, the priest who uh, sang um, uh, The Whole of the Moon, which uh, which I, I rewarded the, the, the water boys um, for giving us that song by being really rude about them later on. And I'm sorry about that, Mike Scott, I shouldn't have done that. I should have actually listened to the albums I was criticizing. Anyway, um, that's by the by. Graham Norton entered uh, the fray again today. Um, and he said a number of things. I mean, basically, all I, I, I can't really, I can't really, I can't really fathom at this stage why these people are pretending they don't understand the issues. Graham Norton must understand the issues by now. He said a couple of things about J.K. Rowling. First of all, he said she was problematic, uh, or it was problematic to frame it as a debate. Um, how is it not a debate, Graham? Women's words are being removed from official NHS documents. Women's single sex spaces are disappearing. We just saw the other day in Primark, a young woman traumatized by men opening the door to her changing room. Same group of men, two men uh, at different times looked at her while she was changing. She was obviously traumatized by this experience. How are we supposed to not debate this? When you say that J.K. Rowling is adding fuel to the fire, can you can you point to anything she said that adds fuel to the fire? Basically, Graham, your problem is that you don't think there's a volume low enough for women to speak at when it comes to this issue. You are more interested in the men's rights campaign that trans rights activism actually is, which is seeking to destroy women's spaces, destroy women's language, uh, destroy the livelihoods of anyone objecting, okay? You, by your uh, comments today, are coming down on the side of those people, okay? So when you pretend to take this slightly neutral view, saying that JK Rowling is problematic, uh, saying that she's adding fuel to the fire, you are actually doing trans rights activist work for them. And I just don't understand how that could be. Graham, you're gay, you're gay. The Tavistock Centre, there was a joke at the Tavistock Centre that soon there'll be no gay people left because so many families were coming in to transition their gay kids. How can you ignore that, Graham? How can you ignore Simon Fanshaw, um, Kate Harris, Bev Jackson and the like, longtime supporters and fighters, street fighters for gay rights, and now they've, been, they've had to come out of retirement to form the LGB Alliance to stand up for women and lesbians. The lesbians, by the way, who a BBC report, and I've had many, many more um, uh, confirmations of this story, uh, said that lesbians were feeling pressured into sex by trans identified men. Do you not know of these issues? How can you say it's not a debate? They appear to be trying to, and I'll provide the link so we can all write with our thoughts, but they appear to be trying to change the sex by deception rule that counts it as rape. How can that not be a debate, Graham Norton? Anyway, I think that's kind of, that's the first part of what I wanted to say. But the second part is this, Graham, again, you uh, were in Father Ted. Uh, I wrote Father Ted. You must know that the Father Ted musical, which is my pension, you know, which was what I was depending on as uh, no, one, no one was watching Count Arthur, to kind of keep me going, you know, in my, in my whatever I decide to do next, if I decide to just keep doing unsuccessful TV shows. That was my pension. And it's been stolen by Hattrick Productions and Sonia Friedman Productions. They've stolen my future, right? Because I'm standing up for women. Do you not have an opinion on that? What is your opinion on me? Why did you never call me in the last five years to offer me support? Do you disagree with my stance? Where do you disagree? You know, you, you said the word negotiation. I, I'm quite prepared for you to be a, 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 
seen as an honest broker in this world. Why don't you come in and help conduct this negotiation? But why don't you start by signing the letter that Stella O'Malley and I wrote that defends J.K. Rowling from rape and death threats? That should be a no-brainer. Arthur Matthews signed it, who co-wrote Father Ted with me. So did Jimmy Mulville, head of Hattrick. What's stopping you from signing it? Why would you not sign a letter defending J.K. Rowling from receiving rape and death threats? What did she write that merits rape and death threats? Give us the citation. Give us the exact line. Say what's problematic or stop talking about it. It's that simple. You know, none of you people can actually put your charges forward. I, the TED musical is basically been cancelled and no one will tell me why. No one tells me what I've done wrong. My suspicion is there's a bunch of activists within every production in Hattrick who are saying they won't work anymore unless they're um, uh, unless I'm not I'm not uh, doing the musical. Um, I think I believe that's what happened to Jerry Sadowitz as well. A bunch of activists within the Pleasants said we're not doing the fringe if Jerry Sadowitz keeps going. And basically, the fringe had to make the decision of we need to keep our other shows. So we had to get rid. They had to get rid of Jerry Sadowitz. There are activists like this in every organization at the moment. Uh, and the problem with Hattrick is that they're not standing up to the activists within their um, organization. And as a result, they've canceled not just my, uh, you know, future a show I worked on for three or four years, but theirs as well. Arthur Matthews, Neil Hannan and Paul Woodfull, all of whom I'm sure agree with me that women's rights are extremely important and should be robustly debated, especially when they're under threat. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Was there anything else I was going to say? I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to move off this without. Um, without uh, saying everything hold on a sec i wrote something down oh yeah let's talk about mermaids okay just found out that mermaids who are trying to take the lgb alliance's charity status away have been sending breast binders to teenage girls behind their parents back now graham here's enter into this debate do you think that's a good thing do you think breast binders are good for kids do you think uh, mermaids should be sending breast binders behind, uh, to kids behind their parents' backs? J.K. Rowling doesn't. I know her position on that. I don't know yours. What's your position? It makes me so angry. These people think they can come in, go rah-rah trans rights, and refuse to answer questions, and it is infuriating. Matt Lucas is exactly the same. He's one of these idiots who thinks that be kind means taking women's rights away. Don't you men realize you're all fighting for an expansion of rights for your own sex? Gray Norton, Matt Lucas, and everyone else who, who, who speaks up on this and doesn't speak up for women. <sighs> anyway, I don't think I'll I don't think I'll say it better than that, so I'm gonna end it. Thanks very much, everyone. See you soon.